Hello, my loves. Mwah. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be another pick a card reading. So I know a lot of my viewers have been asking for a non-love related pick a card. So this is it. Um, we're going to go ahead and do what urgent messages you need to know of. Okay. Like what's urgent for you right now. And I'm going to call in your spirit guides, your ancestors, your spirit team to join us to give you the um, highest level of advice. Okay. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome in, get comfortable, you guys get your tea, get your coffee, all that good stuff. Um, I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient and I am a medium. So, um, I am pretty booked right now, but I do have all my information below. Um, if you would like to book a private reading, if you email me and I respond, that means I have a slot. If you email me and you don't get a response, that means that I am completely booked. So, I would say just, you know, give me some time to respond, okay? And if I don't, I'm doing the best that I can either way. So just reach out and let's see if I have something available or not, okay? I am working on a website to further simplify the whole booking process, okay? Give me time on that, you guys. I do work a full-time job with at-risk youth. I am a case manager, like pretty much a counselor, okay? So as you can imagine, I can't be on call through email and messaging. I need time. I need you guys to give me time to, to do your reading because I'm dealing with kids who are highly emotionally disturbed, um, parents, intervention with teachers. So you can imagine my, it's, it's a little bit hectic. It's a little crazy. I also work a, a side job as well. So I can't always respond right away. If you are someone who gets highly anxious, if I don't respond to you right away, please do not book a reading. Let's just save ourselves the time. Save ourselves the time. If you not hearing from me makes triggers you to take it personal and you let the ego get in the way and you think it's personal that I'm not responding, don't 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 book. Please don't book. And I'm not saying that I don't want your you, you know, I don't want your business. I'm just saying Let's just be transparent and know ourselves from the beginning. If this is your personality, it, it's not going to mesh with my style. I need people who are going to flow with me. Just flow with me. Yeah. Um, also, I do focus on shadow energy, shadow work, which means trauma energy related to you and your situation. If you do not want this in your reading, you can tell me, you can give me a heads up. Or you can, um, you know, you don't have to book. But I'm very focused on transformation. Look at my description below. I, ex I have a full bio about my style, okay, of reading. Please read the bio before you buy a, a reading because I go in deep. I go in deep into your psyche, your childhood trauma, you know, um, and we get deep, we get deep into what's happening, even if it's a love reading, okay? We go to the root of what's happening. With that being said, um, thank you so much for your dona donation so far, you guys. Mwah. Oh my God, Hannah, you are amazing. You're my client, you know who you are. I adore you. Thank you so much for just being a gem, a beautiful light in my life. Like you're, you're definitely the client that I want to come back over and over. <laughs> and I have many other clients that I want to come back over and over. Uh, Gina, I know you didn't want me to, you know, shout you out, girl, but I'm going to shout you out because, you know, you have brought in such an authentic, peaceful, compassionate energy. Um, and you're really understanding of my, my time and my schedule. And, you know, reading for you was easy because of that. And it was such a, a, an honor to do that for you. So thank you for trusting me. For those of you who have booked readings, thank you for just trusting me with your reading. It means so much to me, okay? And I hope to continue to bring amazing readings to you guys. So um, check out my Instagram. I do have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings on there. I offer spiritual guidance and support. I also discuss like a lot of psychology based things, which is my field. 
So, um, and I also have a giveaway that I'm going to close out by tonight or tomorrow. So check me out, okay? All right, let's get started with the deck choice. I'm gonna do the timestamps for you. Okay, you ready? Okay, pile one, Centennial, my fave. I love this deck. So you guys, if you wanna donate to my channel, I have my PayPal and all that good stuff at the bottom. Um, if you are going to donate money, I prefer cash app just for, you know, tax purposes and that good stuff. But anyway, um, if you want to donate a deck, I do have my Amazon wish list. This is pile two modern witch tarot. I have my wish list, but right now I'm really, really into the indie decks for us for the twin flame collective readings and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. I do have a bunch of shout outs to give that I will give next next pick a card okay pile three so I have all the links below for the indie decks that I really want on my wish list and if you're feeling generous then yay so here we go you guys one centennial two modern witch three um the dark tarot. I forgot the the darkness of light tarot. I haven't used it in a really long time. So take a deep breath. What urgent messages does spirit have for you? Your spirit team. If you need more time, pause the video. Okay. Pile one. Okay, pile one. What urgent messages? What's going on in your life right now? Let's see. Let's get a little channeled message for you. Okay. Some of you guys are really, um, really, 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 really struggling with your um, emotional stability right now. I am getting a vision of a lot of health um, issues coming up for you. This could be more, this feels more emotional um, and mental. So I want you guys to really focus on this crown chakra energy. I'm getting a vision from your third eye. I'm seeing a purple um, orb above your head, above the collective head, the collective's head and your throat chakra. So it's really important to take note of your self-expression and how you have been expressing yourself or the lack of. I feel a lot of you guys have been carrying a lot of heavy, heavy burdens, painful burdens. You've been doing this alone. Okay. You've definitely, you've been doing this, um, very, very courageously, but your body, your body and your psyche and your soul, they need attention. You can no longer keep doing this alone, pretending like it's not taking a toll because I'm seeing that it is. Okay. So I feel like this is also a spiritual awakening for a lot of you guys. Okay. Pile one, what needs urgent attention, please? Easy does it in reverse. Exactly. And this is my health card. So this confirms. Okay. So again, there's been a lot of emotional turmoil, a lot of stress and anxiety. Okay. And this is about an awakening. What needs attention right now? Pile one. This is about your massive awakening. So you guys are, are shifting cycles right now with a divine passion. Okay. Okay. A lot of you guys have been through hell and back. You are the chosen ones out of your ancestors. So you have um, incarnated on this earth to help shift the collective. So what does that mean when you've come to incarnate in this world to shift the collective? It means that you have a higher purpose in life. It means that the harder the life, the more um, old your soul is, the more you are um, on this earth to bring a shift, a transformation, because you would not have incarnated on this earth if you couldn't handle the divine assignment that you were given. 
I'm going to repeat that. You would not have incarnated on this earth 2020 if you could not handle the divine assignment the creator has given you. That means that everything you are going through right now is a um, it's a map to your spiritual awakening, to your soul purpose and your soul mission in life. Trusting the process, pile one, you have to trust the process because you are feeling a bit, I'm hearing restricted. There's been a lot of like mental chatter. You've been kind of sulking or in this negative space and your angels want you to know this pile in particular, Archangel Raphael is with you and he predominantly works on your heart. He rules the heart energy. You need to work on areas where you are still resentful about what has happened to you. Whether you know it or not, it's really pouring out into your life and repression, repressing your emotional um, trauma is causing blockages in your life in general. So it's time to clear that so you can turn the chapter. Especially if you're a Capricorn here, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or even eighth house, okay? You are going through a time where things are slowing down for you. Your physical body is slowing down because you need to take notice of where in your life you have been ignoring the reality of what needs to end and what needs to start. There is a massive, Kali is here giving you an awakening that you need to transform and let something go. This is about... A massive shift for you guys okay pile one you are going through a serious transformation like a serious transformation I'm hearing an evolution is in order some of you guys had someone who recently passed away okay because I'm seeing a tombstone here so some of you guys have dealt with a death in the family, which definitely threw you off, which made you feel like this, this has definitely made you kind of feel imbalanced. Okay. This was someone who was very meaningful to you. And if not, this is someone coming through who has passed away to remind you of your strength of everything that you've been through this pile in particular, I'm getting a channeled energy. You guys know loss. I'm channeling this energy that you guys understand loss more than anyone in this world because you have had to deal with a lot of cycles ending, whether this is metaphorically or this is actually the reality. You have dealt with an enormous amount of death in your family or in general, you yourself, you've transformed an enormous amount of, of times, like very chameleon-like, okay? Like alchemy. What does pile one urgently need to know right now urgent messages from your spirit guides some of you guys have a religion here or a culture that feels a little bit oppressive and i think this is kind of what's driving you crazy too there's been a lot of stress and anxiety around um, wanting to break out of these norms these cultural norms or family norms or norms that have been maybe pushed on you, okay? Because this is about you being the chosen one. So this is saying you have incarnated to do something different. You've incarnated to shift yourself what you know in order to shift the collective in the right, in the right way, okay? So you guys are, are challenging the status quo. You no longer feel like you fit in with your family and friends. That's a part of your spiritual awakening. You're no longer going to feel like you exist in this 3D reality. You're like challenging everything you know. Some of you guys have even stopped watching TV or you're just like not doing the things that you used to do. Messages from your spirit guides, pile one. What do you urgently need to know? What do you urgently need to know right now? I'm hearing starting over, starting a new foundation. So you've come to the realization that a lot of you guys really wanna move away from home. 
Um, you may have a strained relationship with your family or your mother. And um, there is a realization as of right now of you needing to start over, you needing to start a new cycle, you moving forward in order to, um, I'm hearing, start something fresh. You guys in particular, you want something you can call home. Wherever you are now, you are feeling restless. Um, some of you guys are getting sick because of the stress. You no longer want to feel in shackles is what I'm hearing. And you've been feeling a little bit contained, okay? So pile one, what do you urgently need to know? Everything is in order. Everything is in divine, divine order. You have to trust this process, pile one. I'm hearing you have to trust this process. You have to allow yourself to see this from a different perspective. If you narrate your story as a victim, you are not going to move forward. You're going to keep yourself in the, this Eight of Swords energy. If you tell yourself you, you can't get out, you're never going to get out. Oh my God, oh my God. You know, that's the energy I'm getting that you guys are having this, this inner dialogue that's very self-defeating and it's, it's going to deny you from your own birthright of success. So don't do it to yourself. I had a client ask me, a few clients, how can I bring more happiness into my life? And my answer is, what are you saying to yourself? You know, it, it's like we put spells on ourselves and then wonder why we're unhappy. But it, a lot of it is our inner dialogue. If you claim, you know, a lot of my clients, which I love, I love you guys, a lot of my viewers, when I do a pick a card reading on my page or, you know, I do one of these, I see messages where people are like, I claim that message. I claim that message. And I love that. And I sat with that. I was like, oh, I've never heard of that before. Um, you know, I live in California, so I don't know. Here in the Bay Area, we don't say we don't say I claim that message. So that was new to me. And but but it's like I reflected on that. And I realized how, how is it that we can claim a message in regards to a love situation, but you can't claim your own success. Uh, -uh we need to change that. So when you are feeling less than, you need to claim a positive affirmation about yourself because when you speak negativity, when you think negativity, you are manifesting it into your life. Understood? This is important for pile one for you to understand the law of attraction. Pick up a book on law of attraction. Pick up a book on abundance and how to create it, okay? Because a lot of you guys are in this energy feeling really trapped right now, okay? What is an urgent message for pile one? All right, that's enough. So listen, a lot of you guys are coming out of a stressful time. This has been incredibly stressful. You've been worried. You feel like you're not creating something. A lot of you guys are creators. I'm hearing painters or you're very creatively inclined. Some of you guys are empathic as F and you're trying to find a way to navigate your own emotions, navigate this dark night of the soul. You're trying to figure out what works for you right now. And spirit is saying, it's not about looking outside of you. This is about your inner work. This is, this is nine of swords, uh, the ace of swords in reverse. This is about your crown chakra being blocked because a lot of you guys are in this 3D reality of obsessing over control or you're not giving the divine the trust. I always joke and say like my ancestors and my angels are my best friends, but I'm not joking because I trust. I will say this. I trust my spirit guides and my ancestors with my life more so than humans, like more so than human interaction. I mean, obviously there needs to be a balance, right? Because I'm still in this vessel, but the miracles that I have seen with my faith has moved me more than any person on this planet with the exception of my therapist. So I want you guys to really, the reason why I'm bringing that up is because this is your message. You need to hold a faith that you can get out of this situation. And I feel this pile, you've been feeling so trapped 
but this is an awakening for you. This has nothing to do with anything negative. This is because this is the, the warm up before you actually blast off into success. But you have to be able to have your arms open, ready to, to carry and ready to, to receive the abundance. Every, le every challenge in life is a lesson that we can learn from. Okay? I'm not talking about putting up with abuse. I'm not talking about putting up with verbal abuse, physical. I'm talking about every situation in our life is here to teach us something. Whether that's stronger boundaries, whether that's um, self-expression, whether that's uh, confidence, whether whatever, you know. Pile one. What did I say? What did I? You guys better stop playing. Words of abundance in reverse. Y'all over here, you. <laughs> this pile is probably out here like, who's putting a spell on me? Who's putting a spell on my life? You are. Stop talking bad about yourself. This is what you're manifesting a lack, a scarcity. Um, you know, heal that shit. Your ancestors are really guiding you to heal this because there is a lineage here of poverty consciousness that you need to help heal so you can become rich and abundant. Not just emotionally, but mentally, physically. Face your financial fears, obstacle blocks and lifted. Listen, you're going through something right now in order to prepare you to from excuse me, in order to prepare you for something great. At the end, obstacles and blockages are being lifted. So you have to trust your journey right now. This is about really trusting the divine plan. Again, there has been a blockage in regards to your self-esteem, in regards to your self-love, your sense of abundance. There is a strong energy here of someone having a mother who has been driving them nuts. There's a lot of family issues here, a lot of insecurity with a mother figure here who has been, um, it's almost like this person has been making comments to make you feel like you can't move. This mother figure, it could be a mother-in-law, it could be somebody, but they're trying to strip you from your strength. Are they evil? I don't know, maybe. It depends how you wanna, what kind of perspective you wanna take. But this, I would say, if you want to have a different narration about what's happening, they're teaching you how to stand in your power and how to set stronger boundaries, how to say, no, I will not allow you. This could be an older woman, older feminine energy. I will not allow you to strip me away from my birthright energy of having inner strength. I'm hearing this person wants to lock you in. They want to keep you because they feel entitled to having you in their life to help them. And you have been letting this person strip you away from your strength. This is creating a lot of conflict in your life because they have been psychically penetrating some sort of fear. When you're trying to move your life ahead, they're like, this person is psychic, whoever this woman is, they're very intuitive and they're trying to get in your head. You have been feeling at odds with yourself because of this energy, because there's such a conflict with this person. If it's not a mother or a mother-in-law or an older woman, this is a Taurus, a Virgo or a Libra energy. And they're older than you though, okay? This person does not love themselves. They're, uh, they, they are unhappy and they want to bring this unhappiness to you. So this is your chance to stand in your power. And, and this is the one time it's okay to say, no, I'm going to fight for what I know is right. You don't have to fight them. You fight them by doing what you want anyway. And just say, thank you for your opinion. This is the time to really heal pile one heal. Remember your dreams. I'm hearing remember your childhood dreams. Think about what it is that you wanted to do when you were a child. What did you dream? Focus on manifesting those dreams. This is the time to reach for the stars. Heal 
any 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 issues surrounding your self-esteem as well because this could be about you not loving yourself and being competitive with other people so this is saying there is enough room for success for you and other people if that's not the case this is about your healing regardless you need to make a decision some of you guys have been stagnant this stagnancy about leaving something behind is creating unhappiness you're not happy you feel trapped there's anxiety there's too much chaos here get grounded okay get grounded you guys and i'm also seeing your health taking taking a toll so it's really time to align yourself with your faith pile one because pile one you guys are ascended souls which means like you're already uh you know you guys have an inner wisdom that a lot of other souls don't. So use it to your advantage. So what do you need to surrender to succeed, Pile 1? Messages from Spirit. Urgently, what you need to know. Procrastination. You guys need to make a decision. There's a decision that needs to be made here in regards to a, a change. Again, a change. That endings and beginnings, okay? And you need to be okay with trusting and have that faith that you're going to be carried, okay? Obsessive thinking in reverse. What do they need to do to succeed? Or to transform? What are you stubborn about? Okay, this is about really getting real about, you know, your, your path. Just get real. This is the time to do it because I'm hearing things are changing. I'm hearing a window. February 8th through the 18th, there's a window. I'm hearing a window. Opportunity is coming in, okay? All right. Let's move on. I hope that resonated, my loves. Let me know. All right. Pile two. What's going on with my pile twos? What do you urgently need to know? Let me get a channeled message here. Pile two. What do they urgently need to know? Archangel Michael, please give me a vision. Some of you guys have been avoiding a decision in regards to a family situation or a love life, okay? I feel for the majority of this collective energy, there's love involved here, a partnership. I am having a vision of um, football or like a sunny day and sports, okay? So for me, this is about needing to take not only to take time to relax and to really reassess what you're doing but it's almost like for me this is about distraction there's a distraction here okay some of you guys have been distracting yourself from needing to make a decision in regards to something you put pause to there's been a pause button here what do they need to know urgently need to know pile two some of you guys have bills or I'm seeing even legal matters that need to be addressed or you are dealing with someone who is dealing with legal matters or jail time or something like that. I don't think my viewers you're facing that, but I, I'm almost getting that you're surrounded by decisions involving law or involving justice or even karmic energy, okay? So right now, I do feel that a lot of you guys definitely need to focus on coming into a peaceful resolution. Don't back down. That's always my conflict card. So again, You've been dealing with a situation that has kept you hostage is what I'm hearing, 
okay? I'm feeling two energies. One, this could be personal affairs. This could be family affairs. But I'm going to go with love because collectively I'm feeling like this is a majority of making a decision about a karmic partner that you've been kind of... Um, Kind of weighing out the pros and the cons about okay yes this is about a lot of your karma playing out a lot of your karmic energy playing out for the sake of growth okay there's been a lot of ignoring here as well as what i'm getting you've been ignoring things that you know you need to kind of clear up in general whether it's you cutting ties with someone that you're still holding on to that you know for a fact that you need to let go of family ties that you need to let go of or that you need to heal or for others i feel there is a big big justice situation or a big um situation involving uh maybe court or law or something that is bringing truth into your life that needs to be confronted okay i hope that makes sense so what needs urgent attention pile two there's been an avoidance of a relationship there's been an avoidance of a relationship or relationships you don't it's like there's been an avoidance of emotion so a lot of you guys are distracting yourself with alcohol you're distracting yourself with with um activities to keep your mind off of what you need to face and this is kind of creeping up, okay? So my viewers, if you are a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is extra for you. Your pain is manifesting in verbally cutting behavior. Or you are dealing with a karmic partner that you cannot let go of that is an air sign that is keeping you bound in a situation where there is a lot of verbal abuse with this don't back down in reverse. They're stripping you from your power, this relationship needs urgent attention right now. There is almost a feeling of being trapped in a cycle with this person because you love them. But this person is not healthy for you, my love. This person is um, wounded. There's a lot of PTSD here is what I'm getting. And, and maybe both of you guys are mirroring some healing that needs to get done. Okay. What needs attention right now? What needs urgent attention? There is a divine counterpart situation. You guys are also an air sign. This could be a marriage. I feel this is relationship oriented, okay? But you guys can take it how it resonates. But I have to stick with one theme. Otherwise, it gets too crazy. With this Ace of Cups in reverse, there's an enormous amount of um, blocked emotion, a lot of hostility, and you guys are divine counterparts, but the, the feminine in this energy is very blocked here. Your masculine is trying to get through to you one way or another, but I feel like the feminine here is having to learn a very hard lesson in matters of emotional abundance and in matters of vulnerability. It's almost like in this situation, the feminine energy is the runner, okay? Like the feminine energy has been running from their emotions because this is painful. What needs attention right now? Exactly. Exactly what I said. There's a karmic cycle here that you guys are not willing to let go of. Despite knowing that this person, I even feel like for some, this person is throwing you off your emotional center. This person is, is bringing a lot of um, imbalance energy. They are bringing a lot of rigidity. They're not letting you be free. Like you don't feel free. A lot of you guys feel trapped in this situation. They're controlling your movements. They're controlling your energy. And you're letting yourself, it's like you're letting yourself be here right now. And you're distracting yourself or there's a level of some sort of distraction because maybe you're not ready to let this go. This cycle needs to come to an end in order to transform itself with the full in reverse. A lot of you guys are not willing to see a new chapter right now. 
What do they urgently need to know? Some of you guys are going to, yeah, this person has you bound and they, this situation in general has you bound and also it's controlling your mind. There's some toxic energy here. There's like a lot of mental manipulation, a lot of emotional manipulation, and you guys are kind of letting it happen. Listen, um, I do see, I'm hearing um, April, May, there are going to be some changes that you need to prepare yourself for in regards to a move. If you're living with this person, you will no longer be living with this person. So you need to prepare yourself. You have to get out of this situation and I see it happening and kind of the universe is giving you a nudge out the door around April, May. What did I say? Karmic partner. I love it. I love it. When I don't doubt my intuition, it really shows in the cards. You're in a toxic situation. This is a very, it doesn't even have to be love, but whoever you are in surroundings with, there is a contract. Okay, there is a karmic contract that you need to get out of. You feel bound to this situation no matter how much you try to get out. You have to get out of this situation in order to start a new chapter and break free. And a lot of you guys are worried because you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to be traditional. You're trying. If this is a marriage, you don't want to just hop out of it. You know, you really want to kind of take the higher road. You want to do the right thing. But meantime, your, your psychological energy is at risk. Your psyche and your soul is at risk because you're trying to... Um, it's like you're trying to kind of resist the leap of faith that you need to take in a new direction. So in this, I never say rush the process, but this is going to require a lot of courage. It's going to require a lot of courage because you guys have to take a leap of faith if you want to break free from this. What do they need to know? The longer you stay in the situation, the more codependent you're going to become, okay? So you have to, another card of courage. There's so many animal, animal cards here. So some of you guys may have a cat. Um, some of you guys may be Leos. Could be any sign, really. But ultimately, this, this situation is stealing from your independence, it's stealing and robbing your energy. This person or whoever you're dealing with or the energy that you're dealing with, they are trying to steal your abundance because they want to keep you trapped because it's toxic. Now, your ancestors are saying you need to be very strong and you need to control yourself. Um, I was listening to... Um, I was listening to, to Ashira. Ashira. Um, and I love, I love her channel. I don't necessarily agree with every single thing, but I love her channel because she does talk about, um, how to control your emotions and the importance of controlling your emotions, not repressing. There's a difference here. Repressing your emotions mean you don't know when to be emotionally expressive. Controlling them means that you have control over the way you express and the way you receive. Yeah. In this situation, your ancestors are saying you need to have faith that you can take a leap of faith and you're going to be OK. You need to get out of this situation. OK. And you will. By April, May, it's it's going to happen for you. Pile two. It is safe for you to receive. What did I say about receptivity? Again, there's a fear of receiving maybe help, maybe love. Maybe um, you're in a situation that's one-sided. You're in a connection with someone who um, maybe doesn't give to you and you've been giving a lot of your love. You have issues surrounding receptivity. And if you listen to my Zodiac videos, I talk about um, being receptive and the reason that the root of the problem when it comes to unrequited love is not about us being a victim, right? Like people are not victims when you get into an unrequited love situation. Unrequited love happens because you on a subconscious level cannot receive authentic love. We mirror 
what we receive in our partners. So if we are emotionally unavailable, we are attracted to people who are cold as well or who don't don't give because deep down we are not giving from a place of authenticity. We're giving from a place of lack. There is a difference. This is what it's saying. You have to heal any poverty consciousness around receiving real support, real love, because you're going to need it. You're going to need a support system as you transition out of this. This even feels like a marriage. So this is something that you're going to have to be strong. And in the reverse, this situation is taking away from your power. So align yourself with receiving help. Let people help you, Leo especially if you're a Leo or a fire sign in general. Block out distraction. What did I say? My vision. My vision was of, of a sunny day and there was a level of playing football, playing sports, enjoying your time, but feeling heavy inside. This is what I felt was symbolic about my vision. Stop distracting yourself from the changes you know you need to make by having fun or doing too much in terms of indulgences when you need to make life decisions. You can't ignore problems and wish they go away because that's not going to help it. You're going through a massive transformation whether you want to or not. you got to hang on tight and do the things that you need to do. So one of the things that uh, my professor taught me in college, my psychology professor taught me in college, was how to stop procrastinating because I'm a massive procrastinator. Um, he said, take on the hardest task first, the most challenging. So then you're only left with the easy stuff and it feels like you've accomplished a lot. It's a mental thing. You have to mentally... Um, Prepare yourself for the changes ahead by aligning yourself with the most challenging first and then the easy stuff will flow. And then you'll feel accomplished because you've gotten it out the way. Another professor, amazing um, Latino studies professor, gave me a dose of wisdom that stuck with me forever because we were talking about uh, Latinos, excuse me, Latinos and alcoholism. And we were talking about research around the higher rate of alcoholism in uh, Latin America versus the US. And um, believe it or not, Latinos are less likely to be alcoholics in their country versus when they come here, they become, the, the, the rate of alcoholism shoots up. So we were talking about this and then, you know, we we're talking about a project that we had to do. And he really closed it out and said, you know what procrastination is? It's, it's fear fear of failure, feel a fear of your own success, just fear, anxiety around your own ability to thrive. Yeah. So this is, this applies, this applies to you. Ask for your needs to be met. A lot of you guys are in this situation and you have been allowing yourself to um, receive crumbs from a partner who is not giving to you or anyone in your life. It's almost like you're accepting crumbs. Don't do it. We're not doing it. 2020. As Shira would say, no crumbs, no dusties, whether that's friends. I love her channel. It's not for everyone. I don't really, you know, I'm not, I'm not really on, on that whole bandwagon, but I do I do appreciate her strength and her confidence. So, um, you know, I have been watching her channel a little bit just to see what she's all about. And uh, I do appreciate the fact that she does build a lot of confidence. The other stuff, not so much because that's just not my, my vibe, but I feel like this pile definitely needs a dose of, you know, some, some, a, a confidence boost that you don't have to just settle for whatever's being given to you. Whatever the situation is right now, you need to understand that it's stripping you from your power and you need to change it. And I think you know that you're very well aware. Okay. Mwah, thank you. Let's go ahead and move on to pile three. Okay, pile three, let's talk about what needs your urgent attention, what needs attention right now. Let's 
get a little channel message for you. Pile three. Okay, <laughs> wow. You guys are definitely going through a cosmic shift involving this next full moon. Your life is going to drastically change for the better. For the better. Um, I'm seeing a child involved. Some of you guys may get pregnant. Some of you guys um, are going to give birth to a new, new life in general. This could be career. This could be life in general. This could be anything involving projects. You're giving new life to something. Pile three, what needs urgent attention right now or what's happening? A lot of you guys are in charge of the public or people are following your, your lead. You have a lot of influence out in public is what I'm seeing, okay? And I feel like you have to trust that a lot of you guys are in in a position of power for a reason. You were meant to shift the collective. You were meant to transform. You were meant to heal. And you were meant to send a message out. A lot of you guys, I'm hearing a revolution. This, this full moon that's coming up is going to help shift you into a massive awakening in terms of your soul mission. And this involves humanitarian work. This involves social work, psychology, healing, psychic abilities, all of this. And because of this, you're going to start feeling like you're being attacked by people. There's a lot of envy and jealousy around you because of your awakening, because of your power. It's almost like you guys don't even realize how powerful you are. And you may even have bouts where you look in the mirror and you're really like, wow, like I'm really here. Like I'm really doing this. Like you're even shocked at how your ancestors have helped elevate you in terms of your social life, in terms of your social social status. People respect you. A lot of you guys are, are really changing and helping the collective stand in their power. And when you move into such a powerful position in life, you're going to have people who are going to try to knock you down. The message for you, your level up is how you handle conflict and how you handle the trolls and how you handle people's insecurity insecurities there's a quote that i love people will love you people will hate you and none of it has anything to do with you this is something that me and my therapist have worked together we have literally worked on this for a really long time in regards to relationships because I always had a default response to someone's love or their eagerness to love me or the way they responded to me in such a way that I made it so egoic. It was such an ego-centered reaction. Like, yeah, that must be about me. This person loves me. If they're chasing me, if they're outside my window with a dozen roses, they're begging me. They love me. Tell me that's not everybody's response. We all think that massive and, and a, a big dramatic show is an automatic measure of our worth of how much someone loves us. Honey, <laughs> after deprogramming, after working through this in therapy, after really unraveling the layers of the reality, that is not what that means. Okay, going back to what this is. What people think and feel about you has nothing to do with you. 95% of human behavior comes from our experiences. It comes from our trauma. It comes from our relationship with our mother, our relationship with our father, and our outer and inner experiences. We project everything. This is why I always say, please think for yourself. A lot of my clients, you know, my wonderful clients who are going through uh, spiritual awakenings, they're, they're experiencing their own spirituality, their psychic gifts. Their question is always, how do I go ahead and turn on my gifts? I have them. I want to turn them on. Okay. My question is always, well, 
what what do you think this means to you what what is the awakening of your gifts going to do for you how is this drastically going to change your life it's like we want to skip the process of our inner work and this is what this is any any awakening and and i think i'm saying this because i'm channeling an energy here that the full moon is going to bring a lot of this into awareness your awakening or your desire to open your gifts it doesn't matter if they're psychic it, it could be it could be public speaking where you're speaking out and defending people you're speaking out for justice it could be anything it's going to inspire and provoke a lot of haters so this needs urgent attention right so yes you're being called to awaken your your gifts to really ascend but a part of this ascension process is not just to be psychic to say you're psychic to show off it's to help activate humanity and what does that mean that means to get out of your ego and to really see that we are all connected you will be in this position and the guardian in reverse is saying artemis is our is a goddess of protection this is isis for me she's always been isis but um yeah there are gonna be people who are gonna try to attack you because you're standing against what the massive collective believes in but you need to stand your ground you need to stand your ground okay pal three. Oh, I need to hurry up <laughs> what needs urgent attention okay there's there's an energy here of being in a position of power but you're lacking abundance you're lacking a sense of abundance you, you're you're fearing your own power you fear that you're not going to have enough okay this pile for some of you you have gifts that are waiting to be open honey I can't make this shit up hello my high priestess welcome have a seat listen you have gifts you have gifts that you're waiting to share you're going to be teaching people even if you already have developed these gifts you're going to be sharing and you're going to feel very confident and very powerful i see a lot of delegation with others i see people loving you and really embracing what you're bringing to the table but if you don't trust yourself if you're in this scarcity energy despite having the amount of love and power and people attack you you're not going to be able to handle it listen a part of being in the public eye, you have to be okay with people not liking you. If you're not ready for that, you're not ready to stand in your power as a leader, period. You're going to have people who are going to talk about you. You're going to have people who are going to say this about you. They're going to try to belittle you. They're going to try to strip you from your power. But look at, look at all our great revolutionaries. People would do anything in their power to throw them off their throne, but they kept pushing forward. They dug themselves in their purpose. Dig yourself in your purpose and trust that you are protected, that the, the, that the public protects you. You guys have um, a strong connection to an ascended master here. I feel like you have Jesus Christ as your ascended master. You have an old soul. You have a past life in the Holy Land. Like your soul is that old. Mesopotamia, BC, prehistoric. You were there at the crucifixion of Christ, whether you believe in it or not, you know, take it as it resonates, but you go way back. Do not let people throw you off your center because you don't trust yourself. This is the time to trust yourself. You guys are helping the collective shift. People, listen, you're beautiful outwardly and you're beautiful inside. The urgent message is to allow yourself to receive the way you are giving as well. Get out of your insecurity. It's not going to help you. It's, it's just not going to help you succeed. You're going to let people attack you and then you're going to go run. Don't do that. That's not what leaders do. So if you're not ready for that, warm up. Warm up because it's, it's part of your soul mission, honey. Warm up. Get it done. Okay, what's urgently here? What's your urgent message?
What's your message here? Pile three. Some of you guys really want to shine. I'm hearing there's a, there's a deep desire to shine. You want to be heard and you want to be respected. If you don't respect yourself and you don't trust yourself and you don't have the in, enough confidence to step out, people won't respect you. We respect people who respect themselves. Does that make sense? And I'm being hard on you guys because I feel like you guys are spiritual teachers. And you guys are manifesting out of fear. I'm almost getting like you've been lying to yourself or maybe you're you're lying about something here because you're you're fearful. Stop it. You're the magician. You are manifesting so much in your life. But you cannot do this if you're in this death card in reverse. You guys are still holding on to the past. What happened to you? Da, 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 da. But I am seeing that a lot of you guys are making enormous amount of progress in terms of your success. Like you guys have been out in public and people have been watching you and you've been leading, okay? But no one sees, it's almost like you've been hiding. This is what I feel. You've been hiding um, your shadow work or you've been hiding your insecurities and you gotta get out. You gotta get out of this. It's your time to shine, okay? Positivity, faith, optimism, a lion, courage, bravery. You have to trust that you have everything that it takes. A lot of you guys are caring for animals or you're caring for people in this world. You're even a shaman as well. You have a strong connection to animals. Like you, you could telepathically connect with animals. The power of prayer. You need to tune into your faith. You can't rid yourself of these blockages if you don't have faith. You know, the moon, um, the moonlighting. Some of you guys have not been working on your soul mission. You need to focus on your soul mission. Maybe there's been an over there's been an over amount of energy focused in one direction and your spirit guides are like, "Listen, that's cool, but you have a mission to complete and you're not doing it." So the attention is your faith and how you're moving into you know, um, your career. Some of you guys feel like you don't have enough money to start it. Trust in divine timing, successful funding. People will help you. You have the power of the Holy Land where, you know, like Jesus followers, they helped him. You will have people on your path that will help you. You need to trust yourself. This is a lack. It's not even just about prayer and lacking prayer. You're not trusting yourself, honey. When you don't trust yourself, you're open to attack. People are attacking you when you don't trust. That's when you know. When people are gossiping or they're saying mean things about you out in public, okay? So. Surrender the fear of change. It's time. It's time. A lot of you guys are shifting right now, okay? You're stepping into a power of a, you know, of a speaker. But now it's really time to tune into your next step. You may already have a public presence, okay? But I am getting that you guys also have a soul mission that you've been ignoring. Listen, the apathy, you're healing, okay? You're moving out of this energy of not feeling um, good enough or maybe like you're, it's almost like you're not feeling good enough with what you're doing now. And spirit is saying, okay, we need to get you out of that. We're moving on. We're done. Cycle is closing. Now it's about hard work. Hard work pays off. Keep pushing. Keep going. Plant those seeds. Find a, a savings you need you guys need to save your money your coin start a foundation a new sense of home okay um this pile i'm hearing three months or three weeks there is going to be a relocation of home or work that is going to benefit you and it's going to elevate your status it's going to elevate your public appeal as well you got to get ready for that, which means you got to let go of the past. You got to let something go in order to gain something new. 
you are a magician, but you're manifesting out of fear. So you need to remove whatever fear you have around success. Okay. The six of wands in reverse. Again, insecurities, right? Like past life energy, you guys were persecuted unfairly. Some of you guys were witches in a past life. You, you were priestesses in the past life or priests. And you still remember what it's like to die at the hand of injustice. You had gifts that you had to hide. You had spiritual gifts, dark gifts. Some of you guys were very dark shapeshifters. You guys were into the occult dark magic. And you were exposed and you were wrongfully killed because of that. The, the Salem witch trials, that sort of thing, okay? Um, your past life is weighing heavy right now. Your karmic um, energy from your past is weighing you down because you fear. It's like there's a fear of coming out in public with your gifts. You may already have like a public appeal. People trust you. People are coming to you. People hear you. But you haven't really exposed maybe some some new gifts. Maybe the gifts that you're awakening to this full moon. You're going to, you're saying, listen, spirit wants you to come forward and trust yourself and have confidence in your spiritual gifts. Whatever gifts you have, it could be any let this full moon in Leo help you rise to the occasion and give you the courage that you need because everything after this full moon is going to change for you. And you need to trust that you're ready for it. You need to trust that you could turn this insecurity upside down. If you cannot handle criticism, this is not going to be for you, but it is for you. That's why I, I don't even want to say it like that. You have to get over whatever chip on your shoulder you have. If people come out and say, oh, you're a, you're a fake, you're, a, you, you're ugly, or you're this, or you're that, while you're trying to elevate yourself publicly, that has nothing to do with you. Their beliefs about you means nothing. Your beliefs about yourself is everything. So check yourself, okay? Mwah, I love you. I love you, love you. Thank you so much, and I hope that resonated. Bye.